In this video we are going to demonstrate how to adjust Trimble Vita and Imaging Rover data by using scale information only. In the project folder I have some notes that were captured by the field data collection team saying that the targets on the wall are 12 feet apart. This is essentially all of the information needed to adjust this data set. I also have some inf additional information that the orange dots on the ground are nearly 15 feet apart. Now we can simply drag and drop the JXL file inside TVC. Notice that uh, nothing appears in the plan view. That is because we don't know yet what is the relative information of the photo stations. Next we're going to go to the photogrammetry tab and adjust photo station. Notice that under the setup type we have some more options such as add scale constraints or add coordinate constraints. So in this case we're going to select the standard resection and actually standard resection is always going to be your default method when you're adjusting V10 data that doesn't have any GNSS or optical measurements associated to it. So in this case we're going to use the scale and uh, now we can go to our manual high point selection. Here we're going to add point number one and we can simply say create here. If we open the station view now we can see the points that were measured on the wall are these points here, these targets here, and the orange dots are these two orange dots here. So the targets on the wall are 12 feet apart as it was measured with a tape measure out in the field. So in this step we are going to pick the tie points locations for these points 1 and 2. So we'll have to go through each individual station and uh, pick those points 1 and 2. Now we can add a point number 2 and uh, perform a measurement for point number 2. After we have points 1 and 2, we can go back to define our constraints and add a scale constraint. So here we're going to add point 1 and 2, which we can select from the project explorer or simply type them in. As we saw from the notes, the distance between these two is 12 feet, which equates to 3.658 meters. After we have our uh, scale constraints done, now we need to add more manual tie points in order to tie these two stations together, or these three stations together. We have point 1 and 2, that means we need at least 10 more manual tie points in order to adjust this data set. A good practice is to call manual tie points MTP, so we're going to call this MTP1 and continue adding points. So we're going to do this about 10 times so we can uh, speed this video along. As we have sufficient amount of tie points, the symbol changes uh, to the exclamation mark saying that uh, we have enough information to compute the project but we still don't have too big of a redundancy and therefore the exclamation mark. Verify that our constraints are still there and uh, after that's confirmed we can simply hit adjust with manual tie points. The manual tie point adjustment process will launch. We can simply hit apply adjustment and uh, adjust photo station report is going to be uh, generated and if we go back to the station view now you can notice all the observations are there as well as in the plan view you can see the appearance of your stations compared relatively to the 
measurements that were created by using manual tie points. In order to verify the accuracy of these measurements, let's first remove the observation measurements. We can now use the virtual DR to measure the two points on the ground. Once these points have been computed, as you can see, we can see them now in different views. We can simply measure the distance between the two points. And uh, if we change our project settings to feet, perform that distance measurement again. You can see the points are roughly uh, 15 feet apart, confirming that our adjustment was, was good. After this, we can continue performing measurements and extracting information from the station view. That concludes our video on how to adjust Trimble V10 imaging rover data that doesn't have any GNSS or optical measurements associated with it by just using scale information.